and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna invite you to a wonderful festival and a celebration of Hampton's histories and the culture that helped shape the city we are today. My guests are Seamus McGran from the History Museum and Shadra Pittman Walk. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So let's give people the details first. Mm -hmm. Hampton Heritage Day mm -hmm. has changed. We used to do it as landing. You know, mm -hmm. it's been a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. So to this year. <laughs> well, uh, it was uh, Landing Day, which was a 50 year tradition uh, that uh, honored and recognized the uh, English settlers that landed in Hampton in 1607. And what we did uh, in 2013 was we really looked and said, well, we need to expand upon this and really tell the story of the Native Americans who were here before the arrival of the English, as well as the uh, early English colonists and also the, uh, the Africans that were brought over um, soon after the Very arrival. Very soon after, right. So it's really... 1619, we all know. Yeah, 1619. <laughs> And that's something we have Project 1619 uh, participating in the event, so people will be talking about that, but really wanted to expand upon it uh, a great deal. And so we have uh, uh, Native American dancing, um, music, as well as uh, talking about the culture, different hands-on demonstrations. Um, Greg and Diane Stevenson, who I know you've met, uh, From members, the of the, Nation. members of the Meharan Nation, will be leading uh, Iroquois welcome dances and social dances. We'll also have the uh, Chickahominy tribal dancers there, which um, uh, another great uh, dance um, uh, group. But what's really interesting about uh, about these groups is really seeing the regalia, understanding mm -hmm. the meaning behind it. Um, and you'll see traditional ways of Indian dress as well as contemporary ways, which are, are fascinating in how uh, you know, modern elements and, and symbolism is really incorporated into that. Um, but we'll have... Um, I'm just going to interrupt you for just a second. Date and time oh, first. I'm Let's sorry. make sure that we do that. I want to do it a couple of times right. to remind people. Right. Well, we'll see you uh, Saturday, <laughs> April 15th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're in downtown Hampton, right at the intersection of Queensway and uh, Wine Street. So we're across the street from Carousel Park, which is where we've held the the event over the past uh, couple of years. But one of the things you've done is moved it so that it's contiguous with the International Children's right. Festival. Mm -hmm. So while, while they're celebrating all of the cultures of people who have moved here at some point mm -hmm. from different countries, mm -hmm. you're celebrating the culture that was here um, before the English arrived and, and right. the cultures that they brought with them. And it all should, you know, really meld together into one wonderful festival, well, not I, just yeah. for children, I keep right. saying. Right. Right. Well, and that, that's really, you made a great point, is it's the, you know, the old world cultures as well as the culture that was here before and then the new world culture. Um, so, yeah, but there's living history. We'll have uh, colonial experiences. Um, people can see the spinning uh, of, of, of wool, the blacksmithing. Um, we'll also be having glass blowing and some other uh, interesting activities. Um, uh, from Heritage Education as well as the Loose Cannon Company uh, who will be talking about the maritime experience um, and then as well as uh, the African cultures um, with uh, Atupan, the talking drums will be doing performances, storytelling by Dylan Pritchett, Sankofa projects oh, are going right. to be present doing activities. So it really is a, a full day of things for the entire family to do. That sounds fun. Now, Shadra, what's your connection? So, well, my connection, I absolutely adore the Hampton History Museum and all the work that they do. Um, my connection to this program um, is to bring forth the African component. So we will be doing storytelling within our tent, um, doing um, versions of Mary Peak, talking about that experience and how important she was. Um, but you know, I really, I'm, I'm really proud to be involved with the Hampton History Museum on this uh, initiative because taking it from the landing day and broadening it to the three cultures that really laid the foundation for this community is really important. You well, know? and I do, I think landing day was this sort of um, 
beginning for Hampton when <laughs> the 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 people there had been people here long well, before that's, that's the, the point. English arrived, and right. and then it continued to change with the arrival of the African Americans, and and it isn't always a pretty story. I mean, there are not a lot of Native Americans left right. in in this part, and you know the Meharans maybe were in the fringes of this area, but they weren't the predominant tribe, but. Geez, we kind of wiped them out. I mean, really, it's not, or or they intermarried, or you know, a lot of times, a lot of um, African American mm -hmm. families right. have have Native American as well. But sort I think, of people of color were all pushed off to the side together. To the side. But I think that's what's so brilliant about this event that uh, James Baldwin has a quote that says, "Not everything that is changed can be faced." Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. So I think it's really brave of the Hampton History Museum to say, you know what, we're going to expand it from the European. We're going to invite in the African perspective. We're going to invite in the Native perspective. Because clearly, as you said, the Native Americans were here first. So when I think of Heritage Day, I think of that amazing sculpture that's in Carousel Park that has the African, the settler, and the, um, and the Native. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the sculpture, they're facing three different directions. And I think that's really significant, too, because you have these three cultures that are coming in with three different histories, three different perspectives, three different experiences about what this area means. To the Native, it's their home. Mm -hmm. To the African, it's the place that they were brought to in 1619, although we know that there were Africans clearly in different places throughout the Americas before that. And then you have the Europeans who were coming here looking for a better place, right, a right. homeland. So, I think it's really courageous. Um, I think part of what we're trying to change is the way people feel about these three cultures coming together. Hampton Heritage Day is an amazing event. Um, we're not trying to change the history because we know that it was difficult in the beginning. We know and it that was difficult for everyone. It was, it was difficult, difficult for everyone. For the English. They Absolutely. did not know how to survive <laughs> in our climate. Absolutely. They they would not probably have survived without some help from the natives. Absolutely. They they just uh, you know, didn't know what to grow. It 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 was it was tough. It was tough. But it was the blending of those cultures, not losing your culture, because mm -hmm. that's one thing, that people preserve their culture, and you're gonna see that in Hampton mm -hmm. Heritage Day. But people came together, they shared, uh, and adopted ways from each other, and they were able to thrive and survive. And so we, who come together for Hampton Heritage Day, are the descendants of those people, and we're really showing the beauty and the diversity of the city of Hampton in a way that hasn't been done before. And more and more, we don't have people who have one heritage. <laughs> Absolutely. Most of us have a blend of cultures in our families yeah. at some point and understanding what all those traditions are and appreciating the elements of it is wonderful mm -hmm. and it's it's frankly just fun. It's mm -hmm. beautiful, it's colorful, there's you know some things are a little bit common. I mean, Native Americans had drumming and Africans had drumming. Right. That, wasn't so much the uh, English tradition, but but looking at those things we do have in common and how they're expressed differently and and, and all that. Well, and there's some activities that, that people will be able to participate in that, that show some of this. Um, for instance, uh, one of the hands-on activities we have for kids is, well, learning how uh, the Native Americans built their homes um, and then how the English uh, used wattle and daub to create the structures that they created here, as well as the African tradition of brick mud building. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see that there are these different things that people were doing to quite literally create homes for themselves. Mm -hmm. So and there's other, other things like that where you can see sort of uh, the similarities. But then also as you're talking about uh, the blending, quite literal blending of cultures, I mean, groups like the, the Wyanoke Association that mm -hmm. will not only be uh, singing, they're awesome singers, do these great a acapella, uh, acapella songs, but then also will be um, presenting in their booth information about the melding of, of the red-black cultures. So, uh, so I think it's a great opportunity, like we're saying there's, there's awesome music, there's, mm -hmm. there's beautiful dancing, there's storytelling, but I think it opens up an opportunity for parents to expose their children to these ideas through 
the fun and the pageantry, but also talk with the folks that are there to open up dialogues and then take that knowledge along with them, explore it more at the exhibitions at the Hampton History Museum. We'll have um, uh, some smaller uh, exhibitions um, uh, of the Give Me Liberty that talks about um, uh, the fugitive slaves. Well, we'll have a small version of that at the uh, event so that people can start talking about that subject, as well as a small version of the human figures, um, uh, hidden, hidden figures, figures right. exhibition. Um, and then this tremendous uh, photography exhibition from Hampton University that really uh, presents photographs and talks about the days when Native Americans were um, educated at Hampton Institute and what the, the effort was there that was doing at that particular time through that particular uh, lens of history. So there's a, there's a lot there mm -hmm. um, for, for people to dive into um, or just enjoy the music, dance, and food. Food? You didn't mention food. Are we going to have? Food? We're going to have uh, mm -hmm. some I don't food. Go to festivals. <laughs> if there's no food. We're going to have some food vendors. One of the ones that's um, uh, going to be um, uh, a little bit different this year is uh, Hungry Hungry Arrow, which is a, a modern food truck, but presents their food through the Native American traditions. Um, but then also we'll have. Uh, you know, favorites like Caribbean Castle and um, Blazing Goats Barbecue. So there'll be plenty of things to, to eat there as well. That sounds wonderful. And I love the way it's sort of a taste of things, but mm -hmm. you have the museum exhibits and Sankofa mm -hmm. and some of the other things that go on all year mm -hmm. right. for people to do a deeper dive mm -hmm. um, who are who are wanting to learn more. Because you can only give people so much in a day. Oh, you that's you true. max out, especially with everything going on yeah. there and at the Children's Festival. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's going to be, it really is a full day of things to see and do. Okay, how can we learn more? Is it on your website, Seamus? But of course it's on our, web, <laughs> our website, hamptonhistorymuseum.org. Um, also, Facebook, I'm going to be uh, doing updates uh, all the way up until the day of the event. So you can learn and see more that's happening and as things are added. Um, to the event. So, uh, yeah, like us on Facebook. Right. And when you get there, there's going to be this great program of, because there's three stages at the International Children's right. Festival, and you guys have a stage. Right. So basically, you know, if all you did was go back and forth and yeah. be entertained, you'd still you'd still have a great time and yeah. learn a lot. You know, stop at the food trucks in between, because mm -hmm. that's very important. It is, <laughs> yeah. it is yeah. important. And so all of this is free, except what you choose to buy. Mm -hmm. um, right. You guys will have a passport stamp for the first time. Right. So people at the International Children's Festival that like to collect that and say, you know, I've been to Ghana, I've been to Russia, I've been to Hampton. Yeah. Absolutely. Cultural heritage as well. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so Seamus, time, place, date? April 15th, downtown Hampton, uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, just uh, there's plenty of free parking, but you'll find us at the intersection of Queens Way and Wine Street, uh, just uh, off uh, Settlers Landing Road. That's great, and don't be afraid to park in the parking garage. We have parking. Absolutely. People, you know, <laughs> people will drive to other cities and, of course, park in a parking garage. But they come to Hampton, they're like, "No, I'm going to drive <laughs> until I find surface parking." Uh, right. And there's plenty of parking. The city hall lot will be open. But don't be afraid. We have two wonderful parking garages. Right. People uh, think Hampton's a small town and they shouldn't have to park in a parking garage, but it's really much easier. Oh, it's much easier. <laughs> much I mean, easier. you'll be right there, right where all the action is. Yeah, yeah. and enjoy the whole festival. Come for the time you, that you can or um, stay for the whole day and make sure you can eat probably two meals if you time it right. You can right. do lunch and dinner. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And learn a lot, have fun. Absolutely. That's it. Join us for a day of healing. Yes, that too. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I hope you will enjoy Hampton Heritage Day. It's a wonderful way to stop and appreciate the things that happened here 400 years ago, 100 years ago, that make Hampton what it is today. Thanks for watching.